Athens, a city of gods, democracy, ouzo, and recently an economic crisis that has brought the whole city to its knees. I've been hooked up with a local insider who everyone is calling Mr. Athens. He literally knows everyone. I've only got 48 hours here, so I'm hoping our man can help us find the Athenian hedonism behind the headlines. This is where Greece keeps its money. That's why it has no guards. <laughs> this is Insider. So the time has come for you to drink this magic potion and become a man. Cheers. It's called Rahi. Ah. So this place is called Crete, and Crete is a beautiful island down south, cooks kind of like traditional recipes from that island. It has amazing salads, amazing hors d'oeuvres, fish, meat. I'm gonna dig in, I'm gonna try one of these dalmatis straight away. Yeah. I've never had a warm one of these, they're always out of a tin. Yeah? Yeah. Mm. It's really nice. This thing on top is called Staka. He says uh, that it's, if you eat a lot of it, you'll be very good at sex and also have a male child. <laughs> we have to go inside here. It's an amazing place. It has like these little donuts, but really old school. They're filled like with honey and cinnamon. <laughs> I can fit it all. Ah! <laughs> We are just about to hit Six Dogs. And Six Dogs is your place? Six Dogs is my place, right? This space has like a bit of everything I love, basically. Tom, this is Marios, the right. greatest barman you, in Athens. Pleasure to meet you, Marios. You will make two amazing cocktails for us. Can I come and make it with you? Yes, no problem. Let me introduce to a couple of friends of mine, yeah? This is Christina, Christina. Very, nice. Nice. Very, nice. very nice, very nice. This is Penelope. Hey. Hello, Penelope. So, this oh, is this is, this is hey. Tom. Have you seen the Acropolis yet? I haven't even seen it. You see this it. building over here? Uh -huh. I have access to its roof. Okay. Come on. What the f Where is it? Ah, oh, here it is. Here is the Acropolis. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I know it's totally irresponsible of me, but I'm just going to bed now. I'm totally wasted. I won't be able to wake up in two hours. But I think you will make it just fine, Constantinos. There are open-air markets like this all around Athens, all around Greece. But this one in particular is your one um, you come to. You know, I like it, you know, because I like the area. It's a nice walk from my place here. You meet friends, there are like some nice cafes, some nice restaurants. It says sex in the bar. Para <laughs> It's alcoholic, I didn't know it was alcoholic. Good. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Quite strong. Most of the time, you basically don't order. Mm. The guy just like brings stuff. <laughs> Do you know what we're having? Or that's the joy of it. We just find no, out. That's the joy of it. <laughs> <laughs> this is like a meat stew, uh, almost like orzo. But what do you say it was? Pepito de sarraki. One swap of that. I swipe that. <laughs> This is my favorite uh, clothes I come here. Yeah, it's a mold, mm. cafe, and I like that. With your experience, where do you see Athens and Greece uh, Are you optimistic? moving forward to? I'm optimistic, although I'm terrified. It's not the kind of society that functions with rules. And there are not rules. I suppose it's the same with Cuba. Yeah. Where they are poor, but they seem to be happy. They dance, they make love, they do, I don't know what. They know how to shake. <laughs> what are you doing this evening? 
I'm going to have something to eat. What okay. are you doing? We're going to dinner. We're going to eat as well. well let's, let's do it together. together. <laughs> Why not? Sure. So this restaurant is called Cucubaya. It's really hard to get a table here. It's amazing. They have like stuff like from all around Greece, but you know, very twisted versions of like normal recipes, but also brand new, amazing ideas. Have you seen Tom? No. No? Tom? No. Come on! I asked him what his speciality was and he said, let's talk later. It was 10 to 3 in the morning. Yeah, and, like in uh, an hour. It's too early to yeah, go to this Yeah, but you're in so it's way too early. <laughs> it's too early. So what time is not too early? 6 o'clock in the morning. None. I've got a <laughs> tomato and feta omelette. It feels very necessary this morning. We've got a few hours left. You guys should go to the Lecabetes Hill for sure. This is Athens. Five million people, you have to fit them somewhere. <laughs> that's a very good view. Two a days of extensive eating and that's what you do. You sit in a bench and you fucking destroy it. We've been absolutely going for it in the bars the last two nights. <laughs> and, uh, it's only about half an hour away from the centre of Athens, and we needed it, really. Cine Paris, Cine Paris. It's one of my favourite open-air cinemas. It's very nice, routine to do, you know. Going to open-air cinema, like, at least once a week when it's summer. Yeah. It's like a private, amazing cinema. Yeah. And with this in the background, <laughs> I came expecting a city in crisis and I found the most fantastic restaurant, a wonderful nightlife and most importantly the people that make up the city, especially Konstantinos who's taken us under his wing and given us the perfect insider's guide to Athens. There's so much change in Africa at the moment and I feel like I want to be at the heart of it. I want to show Ghana in a light that I don't think many people see.